All right. If you hear any background noise, it's the fan on the Tyrant Smart Charger charging up the battery bank. I'm gonna, gonna do a test between the Basic Garage Watt Meter version one and the Basic Garage Watt Meter version two. All right, so we'll turn them on. And on startup, they really, you really can't tell a difference. But now when you put them on peak hold, the version one shows peak mode and version two only shows peak on the screen right here in the, uh, the corner. So they, they both have the same, the same screens. As you can see, it's already showing 0.6 volts on the version one and 0.3 amps current on version one and nothing on the version two. And you can see the power factor is already um, reading incorrectly on the version one. So right off the jump, I can see where some issues are with the version one basic garage watt meter. So I've got uh, the smart amp still hooked up, haven't touched the gains or anything. So volume 45 at 40 Hertz should produce about 4,000 Watts, give or take. Oh, and I've also got the, see if I can get you in the screen here. Whoa, there it is. Uh, this clamp, I've got it set to AC maximum. I'm gonna hook it here to the same places, to the same spot where both of the Hall sensors are for the basic garage watt meter. So let's hit it, volume 45, should be about 4,000 watts. So you can see we've got 42.44 on the version two, 36.91 on the version one. Now there's some discrepancies here other than the wattage. So the impedance is 1.0 ohm. That is correct. I've got eight, eight ohm resistors all in parallel and it is 1.0 ohm. On the basic garage watt meter version uh, one is showing 1.2 ohm. So let's go to the next screen. So the voltages, 66.0 volts and 65.6 .6 volts. I mean, that's pretty daggone close. You know, it could be a little closer, but I mean, I'm gonna say that that's, that's okay on the, uh, the version one. But now the current, 64.7 amperes of current. On the version two, we got 56.8 amperes of current on the version one. And on the red meter, we have 66.4. So it's only two amperes of current away from the, the version two. I mean, that's, you know, that's pretty close. Um, so let's, I'm gonna reset this meter. So it's set back to max, maximum current. So now we have the apparent power. Uh, 4273 on the version two, 3732 on the version one. Power factor of 0.99 on both units. So the power factor corrected itself on the version one. So now it's back to the wattage. So, you know, there's 500 watts difference, 550 watts difference in between the two. Let's clear it out and let's do that again. Let's do that again. All right, so you can see both of them were about the same wattage wise. So they're consistent, each one's consistent, but the, uh, you can see the volt, the voltage is about the same, 66.0 and 65.5. Uh, the current, 56.7 here, 64.7 here, and then 66.1 here. So again, 64.7 to 66.1, that's, you know, a little bit of a discrepancy, but you know, it's not like from 56.7 to 64.7, you know what I mean? 
there's a big difference there. So that's the, uh, the apparent power and the power factor. Let's clear this off again. Put it on peak hold. We want to clear this off again. We'll do a third test. All right, so same thing. 40 hertz, volume 45 should be around 4,000 watts or so. And so again, similar numbers, 4272 on the version two, 3686 on the version one. Uh, 56.8 amps of current on the version one, 64.7 amps of current on the version two, and then 66.0 amps of current on the clamp meter. So, so that's about it for this one. Um, yeah, the version one, if you have the version one, it is not... Uh, it is not accurate in my testing. The version two is accurate in my testing. So, and I have tested it against us uh, a few other clamps and this, that, the other. Version two is is accurate. Version one is not accurate. So now let's turn the let's turn the power off. So, what did they do differently on the version two? Well, we've got a different hall sensor and up and up graded beefy hall sensor that's rated for 150 amps of current whereas the version one has this small 100 amp uh clamp so here's the clamp so this is the small one the version one and this one's the large one the version two so i'm going to plug in the the big clamp into the version one unit and the small clamp into the version two unit. So this is version one with a version two clamp, and this is a version two with a version one clamp. So now let's turn it back on. Let's see if that makes a difference. Or I should say, let's see what kind of difference it makes. So they fired up perfectly fine. So you can see the version one, when I put it in peak mode, it still increased the impedance um on the screen so let's uh i'm not worried about this clamp but because you're you're going to see well actually let's uh let's reset that we're back to max <clears throat> all right so volume 40, uh, volume 45 at 40 Hertz. Should have been about 4,000 Watts. So, wow. So we got 9,000 Watts on the version two using the version one clamp. And we've got 1,237 Watts on the version one using the version two clamp. So let's check out the, uh, the readings. So the voltages are still about the same because we didn't change anything. We did not change the probes around or anything. Of course, that wouldn't that wouldn't matter because they're connected to the same speaker outputs. The current, however, on the version two using the small clamp, the version one clamp, it's reading 161 amps of current. And right here, we're still at 65.9 amperes of current. You know, this one's pretty consistent as well. And, you know, you've got, when, when you clear this one off, watch. So it's about two amperes of current higher than the version two when it was had, had the version two clamp on. I should have pointed this out when I was testing it. But when you put this in maximum mode, you can see it's two point, you know, it, it holds a current, uh, a ghost current, uh, which you can... Um, the the uh, relativity button or the relative button you can use it but not on this meter but not uh, during a maximum or minimum hold uh, uh, power test. See, it won't let me push the button, but if I put it back on just a standard run, I can hit the relativity button. 
So whenever you hook it up to uh, a power wire or whatever, and it reads that static uh, amperage, and it works with voltage as well. You hit that relativity button and it zeroes it out, it tears it out. But it does not work with the uh, maximum rating, but you can see it's, you know, two amperes of current. Uh, it's already reading two amperes of current. So, you know, that's the discrepancy. You know, if you subtract that two amperes of current from that 66 amperes, you, you drop it back down to 64 amperes, which is where the version two was reading with the correct clamp. So, here, the version one. So if you take the version one and put the version two clamp on it, now we're only reading 19.1 amperes of current and it was reading 56 amperes of current before, 56 and a half. So, no, you cannot just take a version one. This is the version one that I wrote back on the back side, V1. You cannot take a version one unit and just replace the clamp to make this unit work correctly. So I don't know if they uh, have a program where they, you can send this unit in and then uh, reprogram it for the larger uh, hall sensor or not. I don't know. So let's turn the power off. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. And I'm going to you know, show you that, the, uh, that it's still reading correctly, the version 2. And how it was was the, uh, the different hall sensor. So now let's turn it back on. All right, so then again, keep this in mind. 2.1 amperes of current when I put it on max. I'm gonna clamp this here. Now we're going to unpause the track. Well, let's... Uh, I put it on peak hold. It's going to pause the track. So again, we've got 4217, which is correct wattage on the version two with the correct clamp. And then 3670 on version one, which is incorrect. And that's got the correct clamp on it as well. So we've got 56.7 amperes of current reading on the version one. And now we've got 64.7 amperes of current on the version two. So we've got 66.0 amperes of current on this meter. So if we take 66 minus 2.1, then we get, uh, what's that, 63.9. So 63.9 versus 64.7. So, I mean, it, it's a wash whether you use a 66.0 reading or subtract the 2.1 amperes of current from, you know, because one's going to be, this one's going to be a little bit higher than this one, or it's going to be a little bit lower than this one. So... Uh, they're within the ballpark of one another. Uh, it's, you know, you're kind of splitting hairs there. But, uh, yeah, the version one basic garage watt meter is not accurate. Um, the version two basic garage watt meter is accurate and it is consistent. The version one is consistent, but it's not accurate. So that's about it for this one. Um, again, if you have any question on which meter that you have, which watt meter that you have, this one is the version one. This one is the version two. You want the version two. And again, on this, the screen reading, when you put it on peak mode or peak hold, it, the version one says peak mode. The version two will just say peak. So, Hope this helps uh, people out there to understand the differences between them and to show you which one is accurate and which one is not accurate. Okay then, that's all for this one. Thanks for watching.